The government admits using fake Muslim pages. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah! <laughs> the British government. If they're not trying to solve knife crime by using chicken boxes or hiring people to come up with a definition of Islamophobia that will make them seem less Islamophobic, they're trying to come up with some wacky new scheme to help this country get out of the hole it's currently in. A social media network titled Woke is actually a covert British government counter-terrorism program security officials have confirmed. Now this is not gonna come as a surprise to many of us here. Yeah? Whenever we're having a discussion with people, having case studies like this makes our argument seem more credible rather than saying some wishy-washy thing that makes us seem like conspiracy theorists or just people that hate the country. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't the first time yet. Yeah? In the past they've used movies, fake movies and fake charities as well. There's also other social networks like Umma Sonic and you've also got Super Sisters run by white non-Muslims. Now when you go on these pages it's actually quite interesting to see the lack of politics and you know critical thinking about what's going on as well as the liberal aspects of the deen like not wearing a hijab really being pushed through. Now before the people get ready in the comment section you know saying what is wrong with the government having schemes to de-radicalize people? Well that would be the wrong question there stud because the right question would be is this the right way of going about it? In fact let's flip it for a moment. What does the government do to us when we use fake IDs? Or if we impersonate a police officer or give a false testimony? Yes that's right, we get slung in prison. No ifs or buts or it's for the greater good, none of that mate. Number one mate, if you're pretending to be someone you're not online, there's a term for that sort of thing, it's called catfishing and, and lying. Yeah I think we've established that. And number two, taking it upon yourself to censor parts of the religion and then actively teaching it to people is not only wrong, but it's inherently undemocratic. And number three, targeting everyone in that religion is discrimination. I mean it's like your boss pretending to be your priest just to get you to do more overtime or McDonald's funding healthy eating research. I mean is there any wonder that people believe in conspiracies rather than the government? Some of you might be thinking you know what you've said what's wrong, give them some advice mate, school them, help them. <laughs> All right, my first advice to the government is Stop using religion as a tool to meet your political gains. Number two, stop funding people who you believe are abusing human rights. In fact majority of the countries that the UK is selling arms to are people they don't agree with. And number three, stop interfering with wars that don't concern you. Assassinating foreign leaders is basically a British tradition. Uh, if you look historically. I mean, various attempts were made to kill President uh, Gamal Abdel Nasser of Egypt throughout the 1950s. The MI6 planned the assassination of Indonesian President Sukarno in the 1950s and Ugandan President Milton Obote in 1969, Albanian President Enver Ojo in 1948, an assassination attempt against uh, Yugoslav President Milosevic. Um, Britain was involved in the assassination of the UN Secretary General Dag Hammarskjöld in 1961. The Britain funded and, and supported an assassination attempt against Colonel Gaddafi. So, I mean MI6 started funding the Mujahideen in Afghanistan right after the start of the Soviet uh, occupation. And selected Afghan fighters were smuggled into Britain disguised as tourists and trained in three week cycles at secret camps in Scotland. If you're promoting yourself to be a champion of freedom, democracy and human rights to such a degree that you would go to war because of it, you don't get to do stuff like this without being called a hypocrite. Stop with the chicken boxes and with the other lame things, let's do the things that actually matter. Yeah? Alright? Cool. Until next time. Salamu alaikum.